How's it going guys? Merch here, bringing you another Watcher Realms video and today I will show you guys how I integrated Ajax into my arena lineup. So let's attack this guy. He has 319 BP only. So before I was using Zilli 2 to deal with the 6th and 7th wave, the last two waves where you need magic damage. But now my Ajax is almost fully skilled and... He has the unnamed faction, so he will benefit from Torador's Lord skill. That's why he is stronger than Zilitu. Um, who did I give my skill? I guess let's upgrade a bomb. It went here. Damage increase. So I stopped leveling him when I got his ult to max. But now I'm going back to make him stronger because I use him a lot in sustained and single target arena. So let's go. So this is all the same positioning as my previous video. Link on the top right. As always. The only thing changed is of course Ajax is a platform hero. And that's also one of his advantages. He will not Zilitu is always stopped by this shadow clone from the Crystal of Vileness, while Ajax can never be stopped. The Crystal of Vinyl's Shadow can never stop Ajax from being placed. Because he is a platform hero. Okay, let me stop the auto here. And then... Place Torador. So I only need to kill one of these guys. So it depends on how fast the enemy kills it. But I only need to kill one. And then... If the enemy is killing it so fast, I will activate my ult before this wave. Because Ajax has a lot of rage regen. And I can activate it again on this wave. But as you saw there, I, did, I didn't really need it. I killed, the, I killed one of the fat guys. <laughs> before he can kill his two. And this is a sure win on this wave because he doesn't have any magic damage. You dare think you can resist me. Can 2x and then wait for the last three to activate Ajax's ult and then we won. Wow, so from that one skill up, A bomb is defeating Arrogance now. Damn, why didn't I do that before? I mean, his look at his items, it's not really that good. It's triple attack, and then some attack speed here. It's not even 100% crit rate. But he out DPS my <laughs> best geared arrogance. He's also max skilled. 
And he has my best artifact. He has a healing artifact. So that was really good. That was a really nice skill up. It's this one. It's for every three instances of damage taken, the hero permanently increases attack speed by 7 and damage by 4%, stacking up to 10 times. This became 5%, so his damage increased 50% when I got the max stacks. Let's continue. So I'm rank 39. <laughs> I'm really high. Let's go with this guy. He doesn't have magic damage as well. So once we get to the last two waves, I will surely win. Wave 6 and 7. I just need to not lose on waves 1 to 5. I just need to survive waves 1 to 5 and we will be all good on 6 and 7 because we have Ajax as our magic damage dealer. Huh, we're even winning waves. So we won two waves, but I think we will lose this one. Yeah. Oh shit, three. <laughs> I had three left. This one. We lost. Because of Hatsut's ult. It's really OP. So I think I need to activate my ult here. Because I will lose if I get damaged by two. So there's only one left. So that's good. And in here... We will surely win. Because he doesn't have magic damage. So there you go. We will wait for the other three. And we won. <laughs> so even though we have 3% HP left, as long as we survive waves 1 to 5 and the enemy doesn't have any magic damage, it's a sure win from there. So damn. So that upgrade was really worth it. <laughs> A-bomb is out DPSing my arrogance. Holy shit. Hmm. Let's try this guy. He doesn't have magic damage as well. One pass through. What the fuck? Oh shit. We got three left again. Fuck, it hurts. I have to be careful here again. Make sure there's only one remaining. Feed 
We need to activate the ship. Okay. <laughs> we have 3.5 HP left again. But this one is a sure win. Because it doesn't have magic magic damage. Okay. <laughs> it's really easy to target people with no magic damage. We just need to survive waves 1 to 5. Okay, so arrogance out DPS A bomb this time. <laughs> Beebs. Talapat sa paglek na stream to. So I think I can defeat these guys. Because he has magic damage. And this one... Is magic damage as well. Let's just wait for the refresh. Okay. New sets of enemy. This guy has low BP. Let's fight him. Oh, I think he regeared his. <laughs> yeah, he regeared. His A bomb only does 4k damage. So this guy will surely lose. His A bomb will die. Yeah, the, a, his A bomb doesn't have gear. There he died. <laughs> That's why his BP is low. Because it's impossible to see someone on the top 30 with only 270,000 BP. So we got a freebie here. He will die here. <laughs> a freebie an ungeared a bomb yeah, 272 okay. it's impossible to see that on the top 20 plus <laughs> top 24 sheesh damn I lost 5 times in a row there on defense but I won f before that I won 4 times in a row <laughs> okay, last one. Let's see here. I think I can't defeat any of these guys. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> oh, for gear. Sustained. So, Torador. Just to tank the last two waves. That's why he's there. That's his gear. A bomb. Is used to tank before Torador is placed. So this is my best gear, of course, on arrogance. And then Ajax, my new member for the sustained DPS. And then I borrowed this from 
Vortex, the armor and the weapon. And I just got this. It's really good for buffing healers like Nesande and Dolores. So I both have them on Orb of Euphoria. So that's my team and gears. So that's it guys. That's how I replace Zilito with Ajax on my sustained arena DPS. So if you enjoyed this video, if you have any suggestions, write it down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe as always. Good luck on your summons. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.